Welcome to the British Judo Vodcast. On episode two of the British Judo Vodcast, we speak to some of the champions of our sport. Ben Quilter recently became world champion at the Visually Impaired World Championships in Turkey. Ben, how does it feel stepping up to the top of the rostrum? Yeah, it's fantastic. It was such a great, uh, such a great feeling. Um, I went to the Worlds hoping to, to, to win a medal and be somewhere on the podium, but uh, to, be, to be top of it was, uh, was out of this world, really. Better than I could have expected, so I was over the moon. Every one of my matches was tough. Um, I knew that I was the only one on the, on the medal rostrum that, that didn't, didn't win a medal in Beijing, so um, that just goes to show that you know, everyone else is still there. Um, but I, I've sort of, hopefully they've all stood still and I've, and I've improved and overtaken them, so hopefully that will continue over the next few years. Um, going into London, but yeah, no, the, the standard of the competition was high, it was very competitive um, and, you know, very busy weight, so it's good. How did you prepare for the World Championships? We've been working with um, different coaches, um, with Matt Percy um, and uh, recently, more recently with um, John Paul Bell, and uh, John Paul's excellent and, you know, he's had a really, really positive impact on my performance. Um, it was great to work with him technically and stuff, so um, I've changed what I was doing technically with, with Japes and um, the strength and conditioning is obviously anything's changed recently now that we're, now we're at the Institute. So um, yeah, everything's different. Um, but yeah, no, I just, just believed in myself really and uh, yeah, it, was, it, all went, it all went according to plan. What do you think it has taken to get to this point? I think really uh, after when I came back from, from Beijing, um, I well, missed out on the bronze. So that was like my third or fourth major, fifth place. Um, at, you know, a major tournament. So uh, it was. I kind of thought it was about time that I looked at what I was doing and changed what I was doing, and um, realised that I needed to take a couple of steps backwards before I went forwards, and uh, just change what I was doing technically, and uh, just try to improve, um, pr improve on that really. So um, it was, yeah, for me it was all about just just getting better and uh, training harder, and uh, with the new the new system from Patrick and uh, and the other coaches, um, just had to believe in what we was doing and uh, and, and give it a go. So yeah. That's awesome. Training here full time with the guys, you know, with the Olympic squads and stuff, you know, it makes you realise just, just quite what it takes and um, it's great to be a part of it really and just to be a part of, that, of the whole institute and, and train hard with them every day, doing what they're doing and trying to compete with them and, and just sort of uh, put yourself amongst it and try and, you know, really step up to the mark and, and, and be one of the, uh, be as, you know, as good or as, as part of the Olympic squad. Jean-Paul, as one of Ben's coaches, what did it take for him to become world champion? It takes a lot of dedication to get to that point, um, but I think um, there are a lot of aspects to it. Um, everybody in the Institute's been working really hard, so it's not just myself and Ben, it's all the support team. Everything just went right on the day as well. Now let's hear from some previous champions on their experiences. I was junior world champion and then senior world champion in 97 and it's a feeling that it overwhelms you. It's just one of them feelings that you can never replicate regardless of what you're doing. Uh, you work for, I say work, you, you train for 25 years of your life and, and that's, that's the ultimate, that's what you train to be. So the feeling of it actually all coming together on that one day, which is quite hard to do, is it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, being world champion, I think it was um, pretty awesome for me, obviously. And um, I had a lot of pressure before I won the world championship because I was I was one of the favourites, and uh, you always want to do well, usually because everybody else wants you know your parents, family, friends, whatever. Um, I, I felt I did have a lot of pressure, and I think I think now these days we have um, we, we can bring help to players. On, on, you know, about coping with stress and anxiety, whereas 30 years ago we didn't really mention it, we just said, oh, get on and do with it. So um, that's, that's the kind of difficulty that I had at the time, and I think now I would have been better prepared. But. So, what are your plans now, Ben? Um, everything hopefully will, uh, will sort of keep going along the way it has been. Um, keep training at Dartford full time, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully more of the same, but just technically try and improve. Um, and you know, as as always, be a better player in in two years' time, and just get you know fit, be as fit as and strong as I possibly can. But yeah, no, definitely just to be technically, tactically better.